almost addicted here. I'm going to teach you how to build this modern house. Um, you can change up the colour design as you can see here. We've got the garden and stuff like that. And I'll go over this and inside what we have is... We've got the Akisha doors. We've got some up there. We've got like stairs going up there. We've got a little room here where you can keep some chests and stuff like that. And in here, up here, we've got like little balconies and stuff like that. You can get up to it by this little stair here. And then we've got another level. We've got a little TV that we can sit in and watch. And we can go up here and we can look out on the balcony. So that is it. They've got a little thing up there as well. I'm losing my throat as well. Oh my God. So what you'll need is the cyan <coughs> stained clay. You need the spruce wood. You need the colour of your choice clay, will need um, the quartz and the quartz slabs, obviously some window panes and stuff like that, and just pretty basic stuff really. Um, and that's it, yeah, so further ado, let's get on with this tutorial. Right guys, so let's do this. So we're going to start off with the cyan stained clay, the spruce planks, the yellow stained clay, the block of quartz and a quiche doors. So. We're going to start off somewhere where you can have a good bit of space and we're going to start here. So we're going to start putting down our 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 all together. So that's off the quartz. And then after that we're going to go 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, the Akisha stained clay. And then we're going to count up 1, 2, 3, 1, 2, 3. And then we're just going to do these little archways, so it's four along the top and three down. So as you can see, same from this side, four along the top and three down. And then you can just fill in this little bit here. I can't say it. So then we're going to get stained clay at the side, count one, two, and then one in. And we do the same at the other side, one, two, one in. And then we get our spruce planks and count one, two, three, four, five, six and then two on the floor, then one, two, two on the floor and six back. So one, two, three, four, five, six. And then you can fill in all that floor now, just like that. So now what we do is we get any color that you've picked. So I've picked the yellow stained clay. So we count one, one, two, three. This is at the front and then one, one, two, three, exactly the same on the other side. So you should have something that looks a little bit like that. All right, so now what we're gonna do is we're gonna get our cyan stained clay, I can never say it properly. And we're gonna build these bits up till it's the same height as the door there. So we're gonna do the same on the other side. So just remember you can keep pausing it and taking a look back. So now what we're gonna do is we're gonna do two strips, one, two. We're going to do the same on the other side. We can build this up as well. So one, one, two. And we do that. And what we do now is we're going to have one there and one, two there. Like that. If I'm correct. If I'm correct. No, in fact, we're going to be like this. So I'll count one, two like that and go over, close them all together. And it should look a little bit like that. And then we're going to count up two again. One, two three over the top just like that so it should look a little bit like that and that is going to be the height of the building so it's one two three four five six seven eight nine ten i think it's ten did i miscount one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven so that's the size of the building eleven so now we're just going to build these all the way up and across so it meets the other side and we're just going to do exactly the same as what we've done on the other side so up three across up three across like that all right so now what we do we should have something like this when they're all together and we put this across like this and then what we're going to do is we're going to get our quartz and we're going to go one two and we're going to put this all the way down to the ground. Just like this. And fill this all in here. And just fill this whole thing in. Just like that. 
I'm being quiet, it's quite late at night here. So on the inside now, what we're going to do is we're going to do another strip going all the way up here and all the way up here. And what we're going to do is we're going to get our black stain clay, glass clay, what am I on about? Glass, and we're going to run it up the side like this all the way to the top. So from the outside it should look like that, which is pretty fancy. So now either side what we do is we go like this with our colour that we've picked, we put it all the way up to the top and we join it like this. So all the way down, so we should have two there like that with whatever colour you chose. So now what we do is we build these up three all together so there's one ground layer that we've already done so we only need to do two. So fill these in as well and this side. And then what we do is we get this and we build it up to three as well. So build these all up and the same with the other. Like this. Right, so it's coming together now. So what we do now is we get our quartz and we go all the way along here and we overlap at this side. So we go all the way along here should join up like that looking rather nice so now what we do is we fill this in we can fill this whole thing in where the white is we'll probably take some blocks out so we can do the staircase later but it doesn't matter so we can fill this all in now just like that so now what we're gonna do I'm gonna have a quick refer so we're gonna go up by one two three four five all together from here, so from the inside, starting from there, and the same on the other side, starting from there. So it should be two there, and one there. One, two, three, four, five, and just fill those in. One, two, three, four, five, all together. So it should look a little bit like this, like that. So now what we do is we're going to obviously do this roof part here. So we're going to bring this out by 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. So from here, we're just going on top of this. So we can just put it out. So we've got it that height. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. And now we can just put this all the way around it fits the back of the building so we can fill this in now we can fill the whole top in just like this easy peasy stuff this easy peasy yeah but if you do like this guys uh, make sure you slap that like button and share it with your friends on facebook and stuff because it really does help, does help me out um right now what we do just put uh, the half slab of the quartz and we run it all the way around like this. Now what we do for this bit, we're going to have two blocks in the middle like this. And then we're going to put one either side like this on each thing. And we're going to get our black stained clay blocks of the black stained clay. And then we're going to put it along the top like that. Not like that. Like this. Go in there. That's right. So now what we are going to do, we are going to do this. We're going to have our little balcony here. And we're going to have another one at the same as well. So we're going to put a little balcony here. And we're going to do the same at the other side. Like this. And like this. So now starting from here, what we're going to do is going to make that S shape. So we're going to start from here and build it up until we get there. And then what we do is we go along, we go up, and we can use our half slab to fill that in. So you could pretty much do this with half slabs, bring this all the way up to the top, like that. And what happens then, that goes all the way around, <coughs> all the way around, excuse me, excuse me, bless me. So this goes all the way around, and we can join it on here and close that up there just like that so now we're obviously going to have to do that s at the other side and it's just the same 
So we're going to go up here until it meets. And then we can put a half slab here, just like that. Build it up until it meets there. Half slab. And build it up to the top and then we can put half slab. So anywhere it doesn't seem to meet, you can obviously put the half slab on. Now we're going to get our half slab and run it all the way around here. Just like that. So all the way around here. Boom. It should meet the other side like that. So I did it a different way. I did. I must have done the thing a bit different. It's a bit higher this one. But it doesn't matter. It really doesn't matter. So now what we're going to do is we're going to close this bit off here. This is the side of the building here. We're going to close this bit. We're going to do it so it touches there. Just like that. And then we're going to get our black stained glass panes if I can even say it and we're going to put it down here and we're obviously going to put it all the way across here so it meets all the way across here what we can do now is get our cyan stained clay and put it up to the top here just like that so now obviously we're just going to fill in these windows Fill all this in, all at the top. I find it's easier if you go along the top and then you've only got a few awkward bits to do, like these bits. All the way across. God damn it. I always do that. Always do it. And then we fill this bit and then we do the other side like that. So it's pretty much coming together now. So um, we're going to take this out and we're going to get our spruce stairs. And we're going to put them down like this. And then we can use this to go like that. Bring it out more. Like that. And like that. I think what I actually did, I started it from here. So you can just go like this and remove them. Just makes it a hell of a lot easier. You can have this right there. And you can remove these from underneath. We can put them the other way now. Because it just makes the stairs look a little bit better like that so we're going to be coming up here we're, we're going to need a balcony kind of area so we are going to use some spruce planks and we're going to run this across just by two sorry uh, let's see that by two as well I'll figure out something for this We'll fill these in here and then what we can do is have a little bit that goes over here just like that we can have another bit here and then we can get our black sand clay put it across there we're gonna have another level here so going all the way across until we meet the other side all the way across there we can have it across this little bit as well just like that who's calling me so now we can take these two out the roof because what we're going to do is we're going to build this up here until it meets so we can put it across like that so then we can obviously have some stairs and stuff we can fill this little bit in here and here and for the balcony what we're going to do is we're going to have this all the way across like that and from this side all the way across like that so it should look a little bit like that it's a bit different to the design over there I think it's, it's probably worked out better to be honest so we put block across here now and we get our slab run it all the way around like that so back on the inside so for here what I did is I just got some ferns is it a fern I'm not sure large fern put it across here let's have a look it's looking rather fancy so we get our Akisha doors which I think looks nice with this and we put them in from the inside I just think it looks a bit better so we can get up here if we remove that 
so making sure you can get up here I might actually put something underneath here as well just like that and then what we're going to do is put that here we're going to get some black wool maybe just for like a little TV across there and then put a thing across here and then we're going to have a, like a little seat that you can go in there get some carpet out get some of that carpet on just like that so for this little bit here we can obviously let's have a look we can even do a little stair here can't we so you can go like that onto it which means we can replace this and make it into a full block here that's a carpet <laughs> what am I doing so like that there we can put a full block there we can actually bring this down here and obviously fill this in that's got an under slab there we can block this area off just like that we can obviously get underneath here we can have like some storage and um, let's have a look let's just light this place up a little bit so we can get some chests and stuff here we can get them down there like that and we can get some crafting tables actually and we can put them there as well crafting tables too there and then you've got kind of like hidden storage there for here as well you can put um, some of the ovens so you get the ovens like that and then I just like to put a little bit of cobblestone and just have it running up here so you can probably see it past here you can get up onto this level and have this running up this is optional you don't have to do this bit it's just like a little extra if you wanted to save those resources so obviously for this bit here we can actually get these little bits to make them look a little bit better and for this bit we can have it we can just leave this bit actually like that which I think it looks quite nice that so you can get in here and then you can get up to here and around here obviously you've got your balcony that goes across here and here like that and then you've obviously got your other level which we will use some ladders to get up to it we've got some ladders going up to the top so we should be able to get up there if we we're gonna have to remove this actually just so we can actually get up so we get up there and it's just perfect sort of height so we're gonna have to make this come round like this and obviously put it at this height now all the way across like that can have that looks even better actually just like a little light tunnel there and stuff so yeah obviously I'll show you this we've got at the side we've got like a little thing there you can put one here as well with some bushes on top We've got like a little thing, I've used the lime green clay, a bit of cobblestone at the front and with some plants and pots and stuff like that. And let's have a look, I've used some crafting tables there, obviously the TV carpet and you can put some little railings in like that. And that's it guys, yeah, so um, hope you enjoyed this one. Obviously we've got this little bit. So yeah, make sure you slap that like button, subscribe if you would like to. And I shall see you in the next one. Catch you later, guys. Peace.